What is going on guys? I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how I made that Whip It Wednesday post I put on Instagram. I didn't think it was anything too crazy, but a lot of you guys really enjoyed it and were asking me about it. So um, this is the clip in case you missed it. So the video editing software I use is Sony Vegas Pro 12. It's just what I've used for a long time. I'm comfortable with it. So um, this might be kind of high level if you're not used to the video editing program or anything, but let's go through here. So we're gonna disable our resample, disable motion blur, and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, totally mute it for now. Um, this is for my tripod when you're doing this, you definitely want a tripod shot so that everything stays. You can see like the jump of course doesn't move at all because it's on a tripod here. So um, grab our whip, which I believe is about 2.30. Uh, that's not me. Should be coming up right here. Yep, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and cut this. And um, we're going to have this on so we can move the video separately from the audio just so they're not stuck together. But we're going to go ahead and add some uh, video tracks. So Control Shift Q adds video tracks. We're going to Control C, Control V. That's our copy paste. So we have track one, track two, track three. So as we do this, what we're gonna be want, what we're wanting to look for, and the way we gotta think about it, is we need different still images throughout the whip of where we want like the video to pick up as we come across. So I'm gonna go with the first one here. I'm gonna hit S, which is gonna split it, and I'm gonna take a screenshot. And then I'm going to pick my second area, which uh, let's get a good, uh, that's pretty sick right there. Hit S to split it and we're gonna take another screenshot. And um, so then, let's see. So that's when the video like starts. So the video is running and that's right where that screenshot is going to start is at that split. So we're going to actually delete out before it and then we're gonna put in our screenshots here. So Right now, like the video track underneath will be running, but this top layer is just a still frame. So when I play it, it's just a still frame there, as you can see. So what we need is the video playing behind it. So we're gonna go to our pan and crop. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and we're gonna zoom all the way in on me as a rider. It's pretty good. I'm gonna use the mask function and we're gonna just, uh, this is gonna be kind of quick and ugly, but we're gonna mask around me. So just kind of cutting me out of the image so that the image plays behind me, or the video plays behind me. And you can get pretty intricate with this if you really wanted to, but we're just going to do a quick uh, cut job here. Around the front fender, up and over the arm, back onto my head, boom. So as you can see here, if we, all we have, this, this still image is now just me, there's nothing else. So when I put up the video behind it, now the video is gonna play, but we're still gonna have that still image until this split. When the split happens, it's going to catch on, the video is gonna catch up to it. So we're going to have still. So the video is playing behind, you can see other people, you can see other people riding by. And then here I come, and then when I hit, right at that, right at that mark, so I can go frame by frame, boom, it picks up. So then we're gonna do the same thing with the second one. So we have um, this image right here and just to show you guys I'm going to darken the background and uh, so we're just looking at video track two here so once again we'll align ourselves up in the middle of the screen zoom it on in mask it it's actually one thing I need to go back and do before I forget on the mask of the other one but just mask around the bike again you can be very very particular with this if you'd like and uh, really get a good mask around it. But that's good enough. So you can see it's just that image masked out. So I actually need to delete the original mask. That's what I need to do on this one. So delete that. So um, when you look at it, there's just the mask of there and there. And then we're just going to extend this out. And then let's go ahead and just cut this off. So we just have the video clip. Select all that, move this all back. Move that. Okay, so we need our background video playing. So now we have a still image. Image 14 is gonna be this one. Image 15 is the further up one, and the movie is the actual video going behind. So as the video moves across, then it's going to hit here, and that still image is gonna go away because the video 
is going to pick it up and then this still image is going to go away and the video is going to pick it up so here's what it's going to look like when it's completed goes boom oh boom boom just like that just that simple um, that's how I did that part and then of course if you really wanted to um, if you wanted to complete the whole video then you can do another mask of just the jump let's say so for that instance we have um, let's see how do we want to do it just take a screenshot of just the jump here same theory we'll just do this and this and then um, we'll mask out oops wrong one Again, I know this is pretty high level. You might have no clue what I'm doing. Um, if you're not familiar with the video editing, I'm just gonna like take out, I don't wanna do it. Just the jump here, get rid of that. So what we're looking at now, uh, I did that backwards, there we go. Come on. <laughs> I'm missing something now. Oh, um. Oh, it's because the video is behind it. That's why. Duh. So we have just the jump cut out. So then um, we can go ahead, add another video layer, and then we can put our text in here and just say, like, cool clip. And, um, and then we can move these around so that it can be behind it. And the text will just, uh, so we have our mask on layer one, which is masking off the jump. If we make this go away, you can see that the whole wording is uh it appears there kind of move this back a little bit and then we can just animate it so it slides up so so cool whip obviously that's pretty ugly i would need a if i actually was going to do it like this i'd need to move it further up so you can see it but again that's uh pretty basically just how i do it so um you have the two screenshots that the screenshots stop playing as soon as the uh, video catches up to them and they're masked out, but um, just like that. So that's how I do it. Uh, that's how I did that first one. This one, of course, I don't like because the other writer is going through. That doesn't really look that good. But just so you guys get an idea of how I pieced it together, that's uh, all it took. That's all I did. Um, I don't know. People really liked it. I guess maybe if you have a good clip, you, you couldn't do this with a handheld camera, like a video that my dad was holding because it shakes a little bit and that would throw everything off. It wouldn't look, really look right. It could still work, but this definitely works better. But if you have a good clear shot like this and you want me to um, do this kind of video edit to it, let me know. Um, it'll cost you a few bucks, maybe five or 10 bucks, something like that. We can talk it out. But just since people were so interested, I figure uh, I could offer that as a service. But yeah, I was uh, really happy with it. It came out pretty cool and it made me very happy that people actually really liked it because uh, yeah, I just thought of it last night and threw it together and it came out pretty sick. So there you guys go. Thanks so much for checking it out. And uh, as always, until next time, take it easy. It's easy. Take it twice. I'll talk to you later.